public boards go into these closed door meetings. They have to vote to do so and say publicly what they are meeting about. But a state lawmaker says that did not happen yesterday for several items that were on the agenda. The motion would be to go into executive session to discuss any representatives or senators who wish to come into executive session. On Wednesday during a monthly meeting, the State Board of Ed entered into an executive session, something they do at every meeting to discuss privileged information. They're going to talk about allowing lawmakers into those sessions. Okay, we'll go into executive session. To enter into a closed door meeting, they must vote to enter into such a meeting and say what they will meet about. But that didn't happen for several other agenda items listed under executive session. This is where State Senator Mary Boren claims the State Board of Ed may have broken the law. In light of them going on and just moving on through those subsequent agendas items, they've raised another legal issue regarding their compliance with the Open Meetings Act. Department of Ed Chief Policy Advisor Matt Langston accusing Democrats of lying, arguing that no no violations occurred, but the AG's office telling KOCO5 they are investigating, saying they are concerned by what appeared to be a willful violation of the Open Meeting Act. Now, according to state statute, those found in violation of the Open Meeting Act could face up to a year in jail and or a $500 fine. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.